run. Well, here we go, everybody. Release day. EZ750 boosts the chocolate brown, as I call them, the chocolate poop colorway. And once again, this is going to be another day of misses by 95% of people trying to get these. The time is approximately 10.20 in the morning. These have been live for 20 minutes on East Bay at 10.10. My Soul Slayer app started showing out of stock of all sizes at 10 after 10. So, more than likely, East Bay's stock was gone 10 minutes after release. So, if you were lucky and got a pair, congratulations. Supposedly, they only had 500 pairs available at East Bay. If that's true, I don't know for sure. But I, I even tried my phone and uh, it would not go to cart on my phone. I was able to log in and then you know choose size, but it would not cart anything. And going on the actual website itself, same thing. It just pops up error messages. And then going back to my bots, it usually keeps saying out of stock due to high demand since I'm sure there was probably 100,000 people on East Bay at the same time trying to get one shoe. And probably less than 1% of the people were actually successful. I know so far on my Twitter feed, I haven't heard anybody who actually was successful on East Bay yet. So if you were successful, drop a little comment below of how you got a pair and what time you got a pair and what size you got. Because 10 minutes after 10, my bots were showing out of stock for all sizes on East Bay. They couldn't cart anything else. You can even see it here. You can read right there. Out of stock, high demand. Out of stock, high demand. Very high demand for this shoe. I would honestly say this is probably is going to go down as probably the least liked colorway out of the 750s because I'm not really a huge fan of like the poop brown color especially on my shoes I know other people should feel the same way but uh, I think the uh, grays with the glow bottoms were probably in my opinion the best looking 750s released so far and as you see here, I'm showing my another Nike bot, and this bot just failed me again. Um, I would not recommend anybody buying another Nike bot, AOI bot, through them, because this bot has been failing me now for about a year. I haven't carded anything on this bot since the uh, Pirate Black 350s restocked like early this year. That was the last shoe that another Nike bot, AOI bot, was able to cart anything. So I would not waste your money on the AOI bot. It has become trash. Would not use it. And Adidas has officially dropped everybody. 10.49 a.m. in the morning, I think. And uh, got my computers going, both of them. My MacBook and my PC. One browser for each. Uh, computer and so far I'm just in splash pages waiting praying that eventually they choose me to go through I haven't had luck on Adidas since the triple black 750s dropped when uh, those dropped I, I got through or chosen almost immediately by Adidas probably within a minute I got through checked out was done and I managed to get a pair of the infant pirate blacks but adidas wise for the v2s the last two 750s i've never gotten through the actual splash page so hopefully at least i get through the damn splash page this time at least give me a fighting chance but uh we shall see how hard this is on adidas did adidas keep most of the sizes themselves and not have other people sell them they have done that before 
Hopefully they did the same thing this time so we all have a chance on Adidas. I finally got through on Adidas for the first time. Today I've been waiting to get through for what? An hour now at least, maybe more than that. Now I'm just trying to go through and see what's still available. It's having problems adding to cart right now. Um, yeah, I'm just going through trying to add random size to see if I can get one that'll that'll go to cart, so I can at least try to check out before it's all said and done. But just getting through the damn splash page in itself was was a victory, because I sat here. I think they went on sale about. Well, it was around 11 so actually I've probably been for like an hour and a half now I've been trying to get through the damn splash page on adidas.com and I finally got through and uh, connection everything's going good it said recheck my connection my connection's fine looks like all images with boats boat 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 and that's not a boat that's a house and go had me re-verify size not available but come on like their size is still available it's not sold out yet like it's not sold out it is everybody's having trouble I think getting sizes in cart or checking out. It always keeps saying, we're sorry there's an error adding your selected size to the car. We have done a recheck of the availability. Please try again. So Adidas.com's website's having problems with this release as always. Um, I'm gonna say here, just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. So if I can get anything else to add to cart. My other computer I've been using, it's still, it's been on the damn splash page all morning. And uh, like I said, finally, my MacBook got through, finally, after trying all freaking morning. But hopefully everybody else had a little bit more luck than what I have. I've struck out every website all day. If I strike out on Adidas, there's still two more possibilities. There's one website that is dropping at two o'clock. Then Kith is dropping at four o'clock through the Frenzy online app that they have. So, you know, there's still two more tries, but it's gonna be next to impossible to get either of those more than likely. But I'm gonna keep trying and I'll check back in with you guys. Well, I officially struck out on Adidas. They finally splashed the sold out page. Um, I was able to get through to the actual, through the splash page a couple times, but I could never get the shoes into my cart. But uh, here in eight minutes, this website, ymeuniverse.com, they're dropping the 750s. I don't know how many pairs they're gonna have. Nobody has leaked that information out. So that is a mystery, nobody knows. Kith, K-I-T-H, they announced on their Instagram page that for their release at four o'clock, they're gonna do it by their new app that they have. Here's my phone, here's their app with an actual countdown of two hours left. Um, they said that the new Kith Frenzy app is only available right now for iOS iPhones, which for me that's good because I've got the iPhone. But uh, they said they're going to do it by app, not online to keep things fair. So hopefully on the Kith app, I am able to get a pair, but we will have to wait and see. So, got seven minutes to go. I will log this back in, or camera back on, right before it goes on sale. 
Here we go, the countdown is on. 30 seconds to go. I'm not sure how many people know about this website. Um, Soulinks.com and other websites who post dropping or uh, uh, websites who are dropping the shoe didn't post this website. I can't remember where I learned about this one. But we will see how fast this site crashes in four, three, two, one. And crash. <laughs> and crash. Well, that's it for that website. It is dead. That's kind of what I predicted. Once the countdown ends, the site's going to be dead. It's going to get bombarded with who knows how many people, and I'm sure it's a small server. Can't handle much more than like 50 people at once. So, this is another strikeout, it appears. This YMEUniverse.com. I've never heard of the website. <laughs> okay, it popped back up. Now we're back at 5 minutes and 46 seconds again. That's weird. So, let's try this countdown again, I guess. Well, trying again. Timer is down to 22, 21, 20 seconds. Let's see what happens this time. First countdown, website crashed, went back up and kicked me back into a countdown. So, don't know what it's going to do this time. I'm kind of interested to see what it's going to do. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just going to crash again when it counts down to zero here. And it crashed. So now let's see what it does again. Refresh. And let's see. Well, page is refreshed. So countdown's gone. So I guess it's out of stock, it looks like. So one more attempt here at Kith. Maybe I'll get a pair still. Here we go with the last drop of Saturday at Kith. Drops in 10 seconds. This is the first new way of Kith dropping, so I'm not sure how these are going to go, what the checkout process is going to be like. But here we go. Okay, I'm hitting the enter button, and it's doing nothing. Come on, Kith. Nothing. Let me open it back up from scratch again. Try it one more time. Enter. Enter. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi, see if that helps. Sometimes people say, turn your Wi-Fi off, that might help. I don't know if that's true. Okay. Size 13. Okay, looks like I'm actually maybe getting through. Initializing, sending, still sending. Hang in there. It says I'm queued. Still waiting. I have no idea how long this process takes or if it's actually gonna work. But it looks like I'm halfway there. It says it's attempting, I guess, to check out. Come on, come on, do it. Come on, baby. It says still attempting. I went for my size 13, which hopefully, since it's not the common, you know, size 9, 8, 11, 10, hopefully I grab them. It says it's still attempting. I might have to edit this video a little bit during this attempting phase. Just sitting there just waiting. But it says, due to high demands, this step could take a while. Avoid closing the app for the best chance of winning the product. 
so it looks like it's almost like a raffle. Dun dun dun. Nope. Are all sizes gone? Looks like their app needs a little bit of work still. Back to square one. Hit the enter. I think that might be it. Nothing. Well, I'm gonna keep hitting this enter button until officially says, I guess there's no pairs available, but looks like today was a big strikeout. So leave your comments below. Any success or failures today. See what everybody did. So I'll talk to you later.